All right, Hawkins here with a Chicken Hawk Farm Set, and today we're upgrading the pump in the aquaponic system. And I've already lost my paper. So, anyways, I'll tell you the best I can remember. Uh, this pump here, it does have the extra fitting. It's a quarter inch or quarter inch, quarter horsepower pump, and it has this little adapter here that goes to a, like a garden hose. So if you want, you could put this in like a pool and hook your garden hose up to it and pump out a pool. You know, that kind of stuff. Uh, I guess I should put it to the English side, seeing that I speak English and most people that probably watch my channel might. Alright, so there you see the brand, the pump. I have a link to Amazon. On I, I paid like 50 bucks for this locally, but um, I saw it on Amazon, of course, a couple days later because I wanted to look it up. And it's like $44. So, it does have the one year warranty. Uh, <laughs> we'll see how good it goes. Uh, there's some of the specs, uh, clog, re clog resistant propeller, there's the garden hose adapter, you can add a float switch to this one if you want, uh, I'm not going to do it because it's going to be adding uh, continuously, anything I'd want the opposite of the float switch, so when it got too low it would turn off. Uh, 10 inch power cord which is nice, and here's the flow chart for it, as far as a uh, so at zero feet, if you're just pumping straight across the ground with no lift, you're going to 8,000 uh, gallons per hour. Five feet, 3, 000, or 1,320. And that's about where we're going to be is at the five feet mark. So we're going to get, uh, right now, I'm getting about 200 maybe. So that's not enough. And I'm wanting to change up how I'm doing it. Uh, I'll show you that. And I'm not going to do it today, but I'll, I'll kind of go over real quick what I, my plans are uh, 10 feet, which is probably, I'd say, the most with uh, most aquaponic system. You end up going to still 1,200 gallons per hour. It's quite a bit, depending on how much, you know, where all you're pushing and how far. This is also relative, you know, not only it's the height, but also the distance it has to travel. You kind of got to factor that in with some losses. That's why you want to, a lot of people say to oversize your pump. I just didn't want to oversize too much off the bat because I was doing so small stuff. So anyways, back to the pump. Uh... Here's one of the things I wanted to point out at the local tractor store or whatever is Royal King. Um, this black piece here. If I can get it off. I'm pull. All right, we're back. This piece was not in the plumbing section. This was over with like their sprayers, their uh, all the stuff for the big tanks uh, in the store, and it is a garden hose to a I want to say like. NPK, NPC, something like that. I don't remember exactly what this is. I should have wrote it down, but I didn't. I have links to it all, though, because I do have my receipt and all that stuff. Uh, so, anyways, you went to Garden Hood Adapter to that because the threading are different. That's why you, they won't go together. It's just is a different thread count. So, this will thread on there. So, I went and got this after looking in the plumbing section forever for it and couldn't find it. So, I wanted this to a slip PVC pipe, three quarter inch is what I use. I didn't have it, so I found this to this one, and then I had to go back to the uh, area where they had all the PVC pipe fittings and get this one, which is the NP whatever, NPC, I don't know. I said it'll be in the description below. So I had to go from that to slip 3 4 inch, which that throws on there just perfectly. So in theory, I should be able to pull my other pump, turn my pump off, pull that one out, drop this in its place, and be good to go. The only difference is going to be this one does sit a little higher. So uh, I think I'm sitting on a couple of bricks right now because they say don't ever put your pump right on the bottom. I'll pull a couple off and that should be it. Uh, so let's walk over there real quick and see if it's actually going to be that simple or not. All right, you can see uh, one of the reasons I'm doing this. This thing turned green and nasty. Part of the reason is you can see by the little dribble of water there with the extra height that pump 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 pond pump is not cutting it anymore I uh, thought it had enough but it doesn't have enough so we're not getting enough to trigger the flow therefore that's not getting filtered like it should and has turned into a nasty green gross mess and I don't have any way to aerate from the top because I didn't have any extra pressure so I said we're gonna pull the pump out of there uh, let me go over real quick what I plan on doing with the, the new pump. Uh, it's gonna have more power, so we'll come up and we'll come off that T and we're gonna pump the water over and into that system. 
So I'm going to take the pump out of there, and this pump will run. We'll replace both these little pumps. So when that water filters back down to there, I'm going to drill a hole in the side of that one, and when that fills up, it's going to it's over when it goes to the overflow where the hole is. That water is going to run. I'm going to have a PVC pipe coming out, like I said, the side there. And it's going to come back in here. So this will be now our sump. And that's just going to be a raised container. So that will fill this bed. And all those beds. Filling up that tank, which will flow back in here. Now I do plan on putting on a, a little uh, screen on the tube from there. So that way none of my little fish come down to where the big fish are going to be and get eaten. Anyways, that's it for uh, this little part, I guess. I'm going to hop down there, pull that pump out, slap this one on, plug it up, and we'll see what happens. Yeah, you can see right here, the top of this was just a little slip. Same as there. The only big difference is that height. So now i got to reach down there and uh, see what I have this thing sitting on. It's going to be lovely. Let's do that real quick. You know what? How about we just start pumping this water out? See if we can get it cleaned up, and then I'll go back to <laughs> that later. Because uh, I really don't feel like getting all gross and icky icky. Alright, so all I gotta do is right here at the bottom is literally slip that on there, stick the pump down, plug it up, and we'll be good to go. Alright, we got a new setup. Exactly the same though, just to change up the pipes a little bit on the distance. Got that valve all the way open, got this valve all the way open here. Yeah, because I don't want to. Nothing's glued, so I don't want to end up uh, busting the <laughs> blowing the pipes off or anything. I'm about to plug it up now, and we all get to see what happens at the same time. Y'all might have a better angle than I do. And let's go. Woo. Yeah, that's a lot of water flow. That's <laughs> a lot bigger pump. Uh, probably three times the size. Alright, now I gotta cut this back. Way back. Hopefully that's not too much agitation for that down there. I don't know. I don't really know any other way. If anybody knows a way to kind of limit how much water's coming out. If there's a way to actually, like, some of these, uh, the smaller pond pumps, you could actually turn up and down the, what's called, how much power, I guess, they're using. But I don't know anything about this bigger, uh, that's why I've been kind of scared of them, the quarter horsepower pump, I knew it was more than I needed. So, but maybe that's all right. That's not too much agitation for that tank. Maybe that's what it needs. That uh, thing's definitely going to get enough, uh, oxygen in it now. So... All right, we'll let this run for a bit. Uh, this thing's already been triggered. As soon as I turned it on, it triggered. I gotta, I'm gonna have to adjust it back and forth and figure out exactly where it needs to go as far as um, it's cycling now. But I think this is gonna be a lot better for the unit overall. And once I get that rain over there, it's gonna pull a lot of that extra uh, water pressure, I believe, off the system. Hope that fish makes it. That stuff that's churning up some icky gunk down there. But I only have one bass in there right now, so it's not that huge of a deal if something does happen. So, we'll see what's up with it. And, uh, yeah, make sure you like, share, and subscribe so you can check back and see uh, how bad I may or may not have screwed this up. Talk to y'all later.